Menopausal tendons are like Goldilocks and the three bears. Okay, so like finding that right sweet spot to make your tendons not understressed so that they become weeny, but not overstressed so that you don't get tendonitis and it's just right, right there in the middle is a uh, kind of a thing. Because you see, you are trying your best. So you're worried about doing too much, you're doing too little, but like, honestly, a majority of the time, people are doing too little. You are not usually doing too much. Tendonitis can come on because you're doing too little. So you didn't stress those tendons. You weren't moving it enough because your tendons need to remodel. And then because you did too little, your joints got stiff. Your tenocytes were kind of wussy. The remodeling's not so great. Then your muscles are weak. So then when you're walking and doing things, you're a hot mess, then you need to understand that if you all of a sudden wanted to start start running uh, and you haven't ran in years and now you go run five miles, you are setting yourself up for tendonitis because any big old exercise you do that is greater than 10% than the week before and it's big, you might set yourself up for tendonitis. And by the way, you're already primed for tendonitis because at the cellular level, your estrogen helps control inflammation. So I'm telling you, I do want you to exercise don't do too much, don't do too little. And I'm not trying to overcomplicate it, but I just want you to know the reason you're frustrated is you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. If you don't do enough, you are bad quality tendon. If you do too much, you get tendonitis for a whole nother reason. And it's just the thing. And this is why I'm on the internet eating my lunch of a random ass green beans, telling you I need you to do joint mobility. I need you to do strengthening. And I know that your body is so high maintenance and you're so done and you don't know what to do. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Each day you can make a choice to exercise and not every day looks the same and not every day will it be perfect. But I start people with the concept of just doing tiny walks, 10 minutes of mobility, which means 10 minutes of stretching. And then if you have the bandwidth, I would really love you to start weightlifting. And if you feel overwhelmed with weightlifting, you could just do bicep curls and squats. But you can't drive it like you stole it and I know you're overwhelmed, but it is like Goldilocks and the three bears. I need you to find the just right spot for you because I just need you to be consistent with whatever you do and don't be afraid to start because it sounds like it's complex because science is complex, but even tiny changes make big differences in the long run.